my lovely Floss Tube friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. I am very, very happy because I have broken up from work now for Christmas. And I'm like, hurrah, at last, I have time. So as part of this time, I'm like, right, I really need to get with the planning. You know, I've, I've watched loads of planning videos and whip parades and I'm like, I'm so behind. I need to do all the things. I need to get this done. So this isn't a plans video. This is just my whip parade, which is basically every whip that I own. I am not going to talk about plans on this video purely because after such an atrocious stitching year this year, I needed to get this video done so that I can look at all my whips then look at the numbers because I work from a tracker and a spreadsheet. I do have one on my website, which is currently the 2023 version. I will be updating that to the 2024 version and I will get that done, hopefully by Boxing Day latest. Um, it's free. So if you, know, if, if you like to track your whips and how much stitching you do on them and then be able to see it like on a, a year view, you are more than welcome to, to just drop by and go and download it it's like I say it's totally free um it's just what I work from I find that if I look at my numbers it's not necessarily that I look at my numbers month by month of like how many days I've stitched and what I've stitched mostly on um I look more after a year so when I get to the end of the year and I can see what I've done versus what I haven't done and what what stitching I've been really drawn to what have I stitched a lot of it tends to it tends to be the deciding factor for what my plans are for the following year. So I needed to do this and get my tracker sheet completely up to date so that I could really look at my numbers. But like I say, plans video will get posted after this video. This is just the whips. So if you're interested in just seeing what I've done, where it looked the end of last year to where it's at now, Grab yourself your beverage of choice, your stitching, your knitting, your crochet, whatever it is, your craft of choice. Um, and yeah, let's let's have a little look and see exactly what I have. Because I have a lot more than I realised I had. <laughs> so the end of the year review, we're there. And the way I like to do this is I like to break all of my my whips into their designated areas now you're probably thinking well, what, what does that mean any of you that have watched these these little slideshows that i do will know that this is how i do it so what i basically do is i i break all of the whips rather than just saying i've got x number of whips i look at it from the perspective of i've got this number of whips that i've carried over from 2022 this is the number of whips that i started in 2023 this is the whips that were carried over from 2022 that I've actually finished. And these are the whips that I started in 2023 and finished. That's basically how I how I do my my whips, how I see it in my in my head. I don't just chuck them all into one big number and scare myself to pieces. So of course, these are the ones that have been worked well, have have rolled over from the 2022. Of course. Heaven and Earth Designs, Alternative Reality by Josephine Wall. You know that I was trying to make this a focus piece. <laughs> There's nothing like the word trying, is there? Well, as you can see, this one is stitched on a 25 count magic guide. I've stitched it one over one. And it was started back in 2016. I know it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Although I say it's shocking, I, I would love to sit there and say, you know, I really... I really did some big numbers here, but the reality of it is I didn't really do that that bigger numbers. The whole year this year has not been my best year, but I'm accepting it. But looking at the numbers really does help me. So I stitched a grand total of 14 days of stitching on alternative reality. And although I only done 14 days worth of stitching, I can see a difference in the picture. So the fact that there is a difference, you can see that I did stitch on it, that that at least makes me feel a little bit happier. It's just taking a lot longer than it should, right? Peacock's Lagoon. Again, Heaven and Earth Design by Sirio Mashiti. Mashita. Oh, I'm not going to butcher the name. 
It's a lovely, lovely design, but it is absolutely huge. Huge, huge project. So again, this one is stitched on a 25 count magic guide, but this time I'm stitching it two over one tent stitch and it was started in October 2018. And I confess people, this got a whole, don't, you know, I mean the picture, the picture says it all, I think. Um, this one got a whole whopping two days worth of stitching in the entirety of 2023. It's, yeah, there's no excuse for that. None whatsoever, but I think we're going to have this for a lot of the ones that I'm about to show you. Of course, evening in the park, my lovely Chatelaine. Stitched on a 25 count in the colourway Abyss, hand by fabric by Stephanie, and I'm stitching it two over two, and then specialty stitches as, as instructed. It was started on the 2nd of December 2016. Now... I had this marked that I was going to have this done by the end of this year. As you can see, it is so not done. We are so not there. Um, but we have made a lot of progress on Evening in the Park. And this one did get 20 days worth of stitching. Um, it is a bit further along now than what this picture is showing. Only because the project is current, isn't currently with me. Um, it's, it's with a lovely lady who's doing a tree. So the fact that... It's off having trees stitched on it for me. Um, yeah. I don't see it as failure that I'm getting other people to stitch the trees because I'm going to do the lanterns and everything else. I'm just... It, it's for me, I'm going to find it very heartwarming knowing that I've got other people stitching on my piece and I can say, oh, so-and-so did this tree. So-and-so did that tree. That's, that's what I like about this. It, it's like a bit of a team effort to push it over the line. So, although I've said I'm not going to talk about plans, one of the plans that I am going to say that I am going to do for 2024 is make this a finish. There's no excuse now. It's like, it's got a few more trees on it. I've got to finish some beading on one corner, some lanterns, and then do another corner. And then that, that should be done. So, although I'm not talking plans... I am earmarking this as a finish for 2024. Not sure when in 2024 it's going to be, but it has to be finished in 2024. The fact that it didn't get finished in 2023 is shocking, but it's the sort of year that I've had. A very, very shocking year. Oh, my lovely Mirabilia Winter White Santa. Absolutely adore him. Honestly thought that I would got, you know, I would get some time to stitch on him in November or December of this year and yeah failed miserably people failed miserably so this one is stitched on a 28 count tempest opal by chromatic alchemy and it's two over two again this is a very old whip it started on October 2017 now it's not that I haven't done anything I just haven't done a lot I haven't haven't made it a a thing or a piece and in all fairness, he's only had two days worth of stitching. I'm rather hoping that this next week, two weeks before before the new year, I'm going to get him out and I'm going to put some stitches in him. Just, just so that I can make the numbers above two. I don't care how many more, but it would be nice to just get a bit more along with him. Um, again, a very neglected whip. But, you know, when he comes out and I stitch on him, I love stitching on him. I just... Yeah, I just, I can't, I, don't, I can't even begin to explain why it's taking so long. But part of my plans may help with some of that. So next up is my mini Red Queen Red Dragon. Again, it's a heaven and earth design. And again... It's a stitched on a 28 count magic guide, two over one tent stitch, started in 2018. It's not that I haven't done anything on it, I just haven't done a lot, but I've done I've done more of the little dragon. So there's a little bit more body on the little dragon, and that got a whole four days worth of stitching in 2023. Do you feel the trend here? There's there's like a trend going on, right? Next up, we have another full coverage. It is Story Keep Life is an Open Book in Paris. Again, by Heaven and Earth Design. Artwork by Amy Stewart. 
stitched on a 25 count magic guide one over one full cross started in September 2019 now it doesn't really look like I've done a lot on that one but I did get three days worth of stitching on that so I can see definitely that there's more over to the right hand side up where the curtains are yeah again maybe a couple of hundred stitches went in that for 2023 Next up is Castles in the Air Long Dog Sampler. This was my first ever Long Dog Sampler that I started. Um, I went with an outrageous pink um, and a beautiful Silks for You thread. And in all honesty, I don't think I've stitched on this once this year. No, not once. It didn't get one stitch in 2023. Um, no excuse there. This one's being stitched on a 25 count Lugana in the colour Georgia by Chromatic Alchemy. It's being stitched two over two full cross and I started this in December 2019. So the next whip is Hands Across the Sea, Sarah Brazier 1829. This was an inherited chart or an inherited project that I, I came back from Arizona with back in 2020. And... I did do a little bit of stitching on it, but I don't. I haven't recorded how much I did on it, so I can't say. I can only go by the pictures. So I did do some stitching on it, but again, it wasn't a massive amount. Um, but in all fairness, I always said that this was going to be one of the projects that it came out every once in a while just to be dusted off. But I wasn't making it a focus. It wasn't. It wasn't one that I was really gunning for because I had lots of other whips. In my, in my box that I've earmarked that need to be finished way ahead of this. And this is huge. This is a very, very big project. So it will probably just get a spot of love here and there until such time as I've, I visually have it on my radar that this is one that I'm, I'm, I'm starting to work on and it's going to be a thing um, that I'll work on continually through a year. Next up, again, Hands Across the Sea samplers. Elizabeth Weston 1830 now this one I absolutely loved I started this for a birthday um, back in 2020 and we had some issues with this so this was originally started on a 32 count um, pole stitches fabric in the colorway Tudor Rose I stitched about the same as what I've stitched at the end of this year and then thought you know what it looks too blocky. It looks too big. Then I had this big upheaval for a restart in 2020. So not being happy with the Tudor Rose 32 count, I sourced some 36 count Edinburgh Linen custom dyed by XU Designs um, in the intention to stitch this one over two. It was a restart and to start with I was thinking it's not too bad, it's fine. But then when I got to the pale out colours of the flowers, I realised that it was clashing really quite badly with the thread. So unfortunately this one has not had any further love because I've been sort of sitting on the fence as to what to do with it. Um... And again, I think this will be one of the ones that we talk at, talk about on my plans video for 2024. Next up is my lovely Chatelaine Frosty Knot Garden. Again, this was one of the ones that I had no intentions of really spending too much time stitching on it because I'd already convinced myself that once I had that first little square in the middle, I was going to put it to one side, wait until evening in the park is finished, and then this will then take the slot for the Chatelaine. Um, this one is being stitched on a 28 count Jublin Star Sapphire from 123 Stitch. It was started in September 2021 and I've done a big fat zero on it. But as expected, because this one was always going to be the next one that would fall into my, my true whip rotation uh, once Evening in the Park is completed. But without having Evening in the Park completed, I can't be doing any more on this one. Next up, we have my lovely Bella Filipina Mayari. Love, love, love. She is stitched on a 28 count linen 
by Sparklies called Supernova. Now, I know those pictures look massively different. The picture to the left that as of December 2022 is really true and correct of what the colour is. Um, the progress that I've made in 2023 is correct, but for some bizarre reason, the colours went a little bit odd on the camera. Um, but to save myself the hassle of having to go and take more pictures of it and find it and pull it out and do all those things, um, we're just going to accept the picture as it is. But the picture to the left is showing a true to colour. The picture on the right isn't. But I have got a fair amount of stitching done on Miyari. So Miyari, Miyari I haven't written down because I haven't been that good at tracking all of my stitching this year because it's been so hit and miss. I think I've just been doing a spot of stitching and then, yeah, then not recording it, which is another thing that I'm going to change because all the time that I was recording what I've stitched on, each day or each week or each month um it sort of it it highlights to me more about what I've done versus what I haven't done what months I stitch more what months I don't stitch um those sorts of things so yeah 2024 I need to make sure that I definitely log everything that I'm stitching but as you can see there was good progress on it but again it's one of the ones it comes out for a bit it goes away for a bit and I'm fine with that Next, we have Spring Quaker by Rosewood Manor. And, yeah, it's exactly the same as it was. It's being stitched on a 28-count Lugana um, Sparkly's fabric called Rose Pot Puree. It was starting back in September 2018. And, in all fairness, I love the fabric. I'm not a lover of the threads. And I really don't like the amount of colour changes. I think that's the thing that's putting me off. Because I like to park, I can't really park this. You have to sort of do three stitches, then cut the thread off and then start another one. Do three stitches. So for me, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. And that, I think, is what's making it so that I'm, I'm not really getting to it as much as I would like. As well as there's so many other projects that I really, really want to stitch. I think that's the problem. I'm not really that... I'm not really that fussed whether I stitch this one, but that's not to say that I don't like it. But not liking the threads does have a bit of an impact on my, my ability to want to stitch on it, I'll, I'll confess. Next up, we have a lovely long dog sampler, Tap Dancer. This is my second long dog. And as you can see, we didn't do too bad. It's one of the whips that I did actually get around to stitching. And I think that's because this is what I call my mindless stitching. I'm using one type of thread and yeah, it's all one colour. I just, I just stitch. There's no real thought process apart from stick the needle in the fabric and stitch in the right place. Um, so this one is being stitched on a 25 count Lugana April showers by... Hands Across the Sea, I'm stitching it two over two and it was started in May 2022. I don't think that's bad progress, people. I really don't. And what I logged, so the, the dates that I did log, I did stitch on that at least, at least 11 days in 2023. So yeah, I'm, I'm rather proud of that piece. It just goes to show that sometimes if you think something's going to be too, too testing on the brain and you have something that is what I call an easy an easy stitch it, it go, just goes to prove that I've, I've I've definitely gone for the stitching that is easier for one's mind um next we have soda stitch high heels collection number two and we did do quite a lot of this back in the early part of 2023 it's being stitched on a 28 count even weave just basic white it was started in may 2022 and we got the second shoe complete. It needs one more shoe. Um, that's all it needs. So High Heels Collection, I know for sure, got at least 13 days in 2023. And in all fairness, I think most of that was stitched in January of this year. Um, so it's had a whole 11 months of not being stitched on. So, yeah might need to incorporate something into my 2024 plans to get that final shoe done because that would be a finish then for that one. 
Next is my Mirabilia Botanical Gardens. Now, Botanical Gardens, I confess, people, has had no love. It's had no love. This is being stitched on a 28 count fabric of the month um, fabric from Sparklies. Um, I started it in May 2022. I did, believe it or not, that's her neck, the one side of her face and sort of one eye. And that is as far as I've got. Purely because I'm like, I can't keep starting all these things and having lots of projects that are just, just started or just, you know. So I've, I've started it to say it started with the intention that slowly but surely when I start clearing out stuff that is further along that I will come back to these pieces and do the same thing with them. But yeah, unfortunately, she didn't get any love in 2023. Next up, we have my Owl Forest Embroidery Cherry Orchard. And again, this one got a big fat zero. <laughs> it's being stitched on a... It was part of a kit, so it comes as a kit. It comes with a 32 Camp Murano. Um, I started it in May. It was part of my May 2022 May, May Madness Starts. Um, I started it and then did nothing else with it. I think more because I started it and thought, you know what, I'll come back to it. But there's a bit more stitching other than cross stitch in this. And I'm like, I don't need to complicate anything else. I just need to have some, some easy stitching for now. And the, the fact that this year has gone as badly as it has with my stitching... Um, this probably was a good move not to pull it out. So, so yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. It's a good start. It would be nice to get some extra stuff on it. But again, that will be something we talk about in plans. Next, we have my Pain Free Crafts Garlic Dragon by Stanley Morrison. Isn't he a cute? He's a cutie, isn't he? Um, this one is being stitched on a 28 count Lugana Dusky Opal. It was started in June 2022 and it got negligible amounts of stitching. Um, I think it got like a day, if that. If that. I think it got maybe another five stitches since you last saw it. Um, one of the reasons for that is because I'm trying to take out the background. I don't want to stitch the background. I just want to stitch like the, the round moon and the dragon, which I, at first I thought would be an easy thing to do and then realised it's not as easy as it looks because the line isn't completely clear as to where the moon is, which sort of stopped me in my tracks and hence sort of stops stopped progress. Um, again, one thing that I'll need to think about for my 2024 plans. Next, we have my Mirabilia Sugar and Cream Teacups. And this one is being stitched on a 32 count Belfast linen in the colorway white. It was started in June 2022. That was when I was off um, recovering post hip surgery. And as you can see, it got a big fat zero. Another whip that didn't get any love for 2023. It's what I call more a general stitching type thing. And yeah, no excuse on this. Just didn't get to it. Just didn't even, didn't even think to pull it out. Didn't even think about it. Next, we have my lovely Bella Filipina Maiden of Tabataha. I think that's how we say it. That's how I'm going to say it. She is divine and gorgeous. I have tried to make sure that I stitch on her as and when I can. She's been stitched on a 28 count even weave in the colorway Atlantis by Pole Stitches. And it was started in June 2022. And she has had some love. In fact, she's had a whole whopping 14 days worth of love. And I have found that I, I tend to lean and gravitate towards her when I am at my stitch retreats, believe it or not. Because, yeah, don't ask me. I think it's there's a the few blocky colours in there. So I tend to find that that helps. But 14 days of stitching, I know it's 365 days in a year, but we're, we're, we're going to negate that. We're going to ignore all of that because I know that I didn't stitch a lot through the course of 2023. Um, I did, but I'm not on the things that, not on my actual whips that I really wanted to stitch on. So again, another food for thought for my 2024 plans. But I'm happy with the progress on that. I really am. Next, we have my Modern Folk Embroidery Song of a Nightingale. Now, I absolutely love this. 
I love this, but I haven't really done that much on it. But I've done more than I thought I was going to do on it. So Modern Folk Embroidery is stitched on a 40 count Newcastle linen in the colourway Silver Moon. I started it in September 2022. And Karen the Needlebug is the reason that I started this. So I blame her for yet another whip that I probably didn't need because I'm not getting to all of the whips that I had anyway. And this one got three days worth of stitching in 2023. Now I know it doesn't sound like a lot and it isn't a lot. Um, but every stitch for me is progress and the fact that I can visually see that I did something on it tells me we're fine because I did stitch on it. I have made some progress. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that I got it out and I got some love on that one. Next, we have my Bella Filipina Greta Goldbroom. This one is stitched on a 25 count even weave in the colorway Pisces. It's custom. We had like a custom color put over the top of it um, by Sparklies. It was started again in September 2022. And although I can't really see that much of a difference, I sort of can. I did do, I did do some more stitching on Greta. Um, she's had a whole six days worth of stitching in 2023. But I did stitch on her. So it's not like she was neglected and unloved. Um, there's a theme. There's definitely a theme here, people. Next, we have my lovely Heaven and Earth design, The Wall Shop by Lucy Pitaway. So cute. So cute. Love, love, love this. Um, it's being stitched on a 28 count even weave. Again, it was another start for September 2022. There was a lot that was started in September 2022. And... I did get a fair amount of progress on it. Um, I think it got about eight days. So it's not massive amounts, but the fact that there wasn't that much happening with the with the colour changes, I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of colour changes, but there's a lot of blues in that in that that portion there. It's not just one colour blue. There's like a number of colour blues. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite refreshing to work on something that doesn't, it's not confetti heavy like my alternative reality. So I'm more than happy with the progress on that one. Another chart. So this one, I've got the title wrong. So ignore the right into the left hand side. This is actually a charting creations chart and it is Christmas Fairy Magic artwork by Ruben McHugh. And... I'm stitching it on a 25 count even weave and it was started in October of 2022. I did do some of it. There is progress there. Um, I think it had about three or four days on it. But the only thing is I'm stitching that using the CXC threads and I'll be honest people, I'm not a lover. I'm not a lover of the, C of the CXC threads, which I think is what's putting me off. So although I want to stitch on it, I'm being put off by the threads. So again, it's another thing that I really need to sort of think about for my 2024 plans of what I'm going to do. But I love the design. I love the chart. So next up is Leela's Studio Halloween Quaker. Loving stitching on this one. This one is being stitched on a 40 count Newcastle linen hand dyed by Umwahia. And it was started again in October of 2022. I haven't done a lot on it. I think it's more that it was a 40 count. Um, and it was never intended to be one of those projects that I would work on endlessly. It was just, you know, it's a nice Halloween thing to have. Um, and I get to it when I get to it. But Halloween Quaker got... How much did that get? Halloween Quaker got about three days worth of stitching. But when I say it's three days, it's three touches as and when I get chance to. So, yeah, love that one. So that was the whips that were carried over from 2022. So next up is my current whips that were started here in 2023. And I have to say, when I've looked at my numbers, I'm like, wow, wow. Did I really? Did I really? I did, people. I really did. So first up is my Bella Filipina Maguayan. She's stitched on a 28 count Lugana hand dyed fabric by Umwa. And it was started on the 1st of January, 2023, which was the chaos that started 
on stream with the Theresa made me do it, Sal, um, which I must get back to. I, I have to confess, not only do I need to get back to Mag Wayan, I need to get back to the streams and I need to get back to my Theresa made me do it friends because I, I need to get back to all of that stuff. Fingers crossed that is what's going to happen either over Christmas or New Year. It would be nice to think that I can get back to it and I can pick up where I left off now that things are all changing on the work front. But not bad progress. Magwayan got a whopping 22 days worth of stitching um, in 2023 and I am more than happy with the progress given all the other whips that I work on. Next up, we have my lovely Heaven and Earth design, the Princess Duck artwork by Gordon Fitchett. This one's being stitched on a 28 count Lugana in the colorway Cute by Fortnite Fabrics. And I started this on the 27th of March, 2023. And love, love people. I love stitching on it. I was a bit nervous because it wasn't a magic guide. It wasn't a gridded fabric. I was right to think so. So it, it's, you know, it takes a bit more brain power, at least until I've got his head on. Once I've got, once I've got the little prince, prince's head on I think it it will be a little easier but um currently without the head it's um, I'm sort of doing a lot of counting this one got nine days worth of stitching and, I, and I'm fine with that because yeah it's one that I need I need all of my all of my brain cells working all of the time to be able to stitch on this um because I'm not even doing it in my usual 10 by 10 blocks I will do when I get further down, which I think will help with making sure that I don't go wrong and I don't get lost in where I'm supposed to be. Um, there's a lot of light colours on it as well, which basically makes it a little hard to see against the, the fabric at the back. But yeah, love that one. Love that one. Next up, we have my Heaven and Earth Design Deer Creek Stocking. Artwork by Donna Gelsinger. I'm stitching this on a glorious 18 count magic guide Ada and I'm stitching it two over one. It was started in May of this year. Haven't made a huge amount of progress, but I love working on the 18 count. I'm really looking forward to getting back to this. Deer Creek got five days worth of stitching this year. Um, hardly surprising that it didn't get that much love given that it was May that it was started and it's really a Christmassy type thing. But I am looking forward to getting to spend some time working on that one the very next one i'm not even sure i've even shown this to anyone <laughs> that's how bad my recording's been and my videos have been towards the end of the year this is my hello from liz matthews it's second day of christmas it's being stitched on a 36 count cream and sugar linen by fiber on a whim and i'm stitching it two over two it was started on the 9th of july 2023 and that is as far as i got the plan was that that was going to be a Christmas finish and when I realised how big those birds were and how much stitching it was, I was like, we're never going to get this done for one present for Christmas. So it's going to become a Christmas thing. It could be something for me, who knows. But again, um, yeah, it, it was, there was a lot more stitching involved. I mean, that was like six days worth of stitching there. And I was like, yeah, I think I think I need to stop there and go and work on something realistic to get finished by December. Um, so, yeah, but it's a start. It's a good start. Definitely something to come back to. Next, we have my Witchelt Family Farm Afghan. It's on an 18 count fireside fabric, four strands over two. And I started this on September the 17th, 2023 love it i have to say love it i just haven't had the time to get to it i would love to get to it it's just not been happening i think my afghan has had a maximum of three days worth of stitching one day was actually the start at the retreat because we were starting it together um and then two days was like basically two evenings laying in bed and i just did like one length and then that was that was as far as i got but it's it's a start and I love, I mean, now is the perfect weather to be stitching on an afghan, right? Because it's winter, which is exactly the right time to be stitching on it. It was too hot to do it in September because we were still having a bit of a mini heat wave. So now we are looking at the this year's new starts 
and finishes of 2023. And whereas everything else so far has been really quite disappointing as far as what I've managed to achieve or what I've stitched, I think this is where I've actually focused most of my time. In fact, I know is where I've, I've focused almost all of my time this year. And that is on my on my Christmas finishes. Um, they started very early and yeah, they've only just finished. So this one is my Shepherd's Bush Roberts stocking. I was stitching this on an 18 count natural linen and I was using the called for pearl cottons. I started it on the 15th of the 6th. It was finished on the 27th of the 7th and it was FFO'd on the 21st of the 8th. And it was glorious. And the recipient, my boss, received it with love and almost tears. I think he was a little overwhelmed at how much I'd done for him. And he was, yeah, it was very appreciated, which it always makes you warm and fuzzy on the inside. He absolutely loved his stocking. This one got 24 days worth of stitching. It took me 24 days to do the stitching. And yeah and it was a done deal i thoroughly enjoyed working on this it was an absolute joy um it definitely makes me realize that there are certain things that you know i really love to stitch on and this was one of those things that i just could not put down um so love that one next up was the annie b's faux cart let's go sledding times four um i started stitching them on the 29th of august I picked four, um, four sledges that I wouldn't do. I had them finished by the 24th of November and I FFO'd on the 8th of December. And I have to say, I predominantly did most of the stitching of these on the train, um, on the way to work. That was as much love as they were getting. And yeah, I think that might be why it took me so long to get them done. Next, we have my Leela Studio Jumpers in the red and the blue. They were stitched on a 40 count light mocha, one over two. Again, loved stitching them, loved finishing them. They were started on the 30th of July. I finished them on the 4th of September and I FFO'd them on the 10th of December. So, yeah. I mean, this is it. Now that I'm looking at the things that I've managed to finish, it makes it like, well, actually, you didn't do too bad this year, Teresa. It's just none of it was my stitching. None of it was for me. Um, and then lastly for the Christmas finishes was the Victoria Samplers of Beautiful Crackers. They were stitched on a 28 count um, so the gingerbread man was stitched on a dirty linen and the snowman was an off cup unknown. Um, I think I got it when I went up to North Wales um, to the Wrexham retreat and I think I picked it up in the Nimble Thimble. Loved stitching on them. They were started on the 25th of Sep sorry, 25th of October. They were finished on the 5th of De December and they were FFO'd on the 7th of December. So that was my Christmas finishes. And the last finish of 2023, which was the whips that I was... So these were whips that were brought in into 2023 and then were finished in 2023. And that is my lovely Little House Needleworks ABC Summer. What a love. I've done it in completely different colours. And this one was stitched on a 32 count Belfast linen colorway Tudor Rose. It was started in August 2021. And I finished it in June 2023 and it was FFO'd in July of 2023. Whew. That's a whole lot of stuff, right? That is a whole lot of stuff, people. A whole lot of whips, a whole lot of stuff. So numbers, people, numbers. I'm all about the numbers. So I carried over 26 whips from 2022 into 2023. I started 14 new whips in 2023. However, I did finish one carried over whip from 2022. And I 
finished nine new starts of 2023. So nine. So in actual fact, I've only got five whips that are still active that were started in 2023. So I don't feel quite so bad now. <laughs> I do have a lot of whips, of which a lot of them are whips that have been with me for a long time that I do need to focus on. But when I look at the numbers and then I look at my spreadsheet, it sort of helps me with working out what I trended with, what I obviously steered very far away from. Um, but then also it's like, what are my feelings? So, you know, was there anything in the ones that I didn't stitch that I was like, I really wanted to stitch on that. And I was really feeling like it was calling me, but couldn't stitch it because I was too busy stitching Christmas things, or I was too busy stitching something else, or I was just too busy and not stitching at all. So for me to work out my plans, I needed to do my little whip parade and to look at my handy dandy spreadsheet and look at the trending numbers to see exactly how many days I've stitched on what, but as well as looking at what I stitched on in 2023, it's more about what were my feelings. You know, I may have stitched a lot on Christmas things. That doesn't necessarily mean that I love stitching Christmas things. It felt that I was I need I was pushing to a finish because they had an end goal. They needed to be stitched for a gift. So even though I wanted to do all these other things, I couldn't. So now it's about me reflecting on, okay, well, what do I feel like I've missed on most? To actually work out what my plans are going to be for 2024. Now I think I've sort of got it. I think I'm I'm almost there with what the plan is. Um, I'm going to share that on my 2024 plans video. Which will be like I say be coming up sooner rather than later. Once I've ironed and ironed out just a couple of more wrinkles that I'm not 100% sure on. And I know that I'm like okay I've got my plan. I know what I'm going to do for 2024. So hope you enjoyed the whip parade. It's going to be interesting to see where I'm at next year, given that I have these ideas in my head about what I'm planning for 2024. But although I'm not happy that I didn't get to stitch on all the things that I would usually stitch on, all the things that I was being drawn towards and called to, I do feel that I've achieved a lot more than, than I thought I did previous because I was sitting there going well this year was a total flop but when I now look at the numbers you know, I got 10 finishes this year doesn't matter how big they were I got 10 stitched whips starts finished and FFO'd so when I look at it like that I'm like that can't be sniffed at I didn't finish any big big projects I didn't get crazy amounts of numbers of stitches into some of my loved long lifetime stitching projects but it's fine because although I didn't do that I did get 10 finishes for 2023. On that note my lovelies I'm gonna let you all go and go back to doing all the things that you're doing. I hope you're not too busy at this festive time of year. Like I say plans video will follow and hopefully I am hoping to get a live stream in whether that be before the end of the year or whether I do it literally at the end of the year who knows but if I do I will post up to say that I'm going to do a go live so keep an eye on the community post I thank you for all your support as always such lovely messages received from you all again throughout the course of the year even though I've been pretty much missing in action for a lot of it but I do really appreciate my returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel and you've liked what you see, please don't forget to give me a little thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. So until next time, my lovelies, thank you and bye bye for now.